does play Pikachu in here. He plays Olimar because he knows he's a bad character. If you ever played against Alfonso and Melee, he'll pick Roy against you, Pichu against you, maybe Bowser, DK, the low tiers. He he has this guy is like no respect unless you give him respect and you get respect. This guy's like, nah man, I'ma play Olimar. 6v1 dog. 6v1? No, you're gonna have 4 pick me one time. 5v1 dude. We're playing Summoner's Rift on one. That's what we're doing. Uh, the thing is that like you can actually picture the gold coming out every time a Pikmin dies. Ugh. There's nothing you can do about Olimar. Like, Alphonse said he's only gonna go Olimar this tournament. What is this? Alphonse <laughs> left. Shout out to Alphonse from the stream. Uh, so, I know some people's like, dude, just kill all the Pikmin. Like, you could just respawn Pikmin. You're not gonna get gold for that. There's no last hit in this game. Ganondorf, he's a boss in this game. The Ganon Punch is slightly slower, only on ground, so you can't get those like 360 no scope front aerial off the top floor Ganon Punches anymore. We get Taunt Kill, shout out to TF2 players and them Taunt Kills. There's only a certain amount of Taunt Kills in this game and that thing is hype. The hardest thing to do in Crush Game is those Taunt Kills. 2 to 4 stock, I know Afonso's good, he's actually ranked right now in Hawaii, but. Olimar is so easy to edge guard and half of the time he can't even make it. Like, Project M, please. Like, I know there's some things. I personally think everyone's honestly balanced. Melee characters might be really good. Like, I'm a really fan of the Fox, Falco, Captain Falcon, Mars being a little bit better than top notch, but you get the. Someone playing versus on station number four. You get the art of surprise when you're playing these non Fox, Falco, Captain Falcon, Mars. So, uh, but Olimar, Olimar's, do we have a four stock? Did Fernand DZ just four stock a top ranked player here? Alfonso, you're giving a bad name to top ranked players here. Nah, no, so he's top ranked inside Hawaii for melee. Right? But he plays Pikachu, he plays an actual viable character. That's not, I know it's not a top tier, but it's a viable character. Olimar is not that up to par with everyone right now. Oh, Fernandezi's top six. Damn, I can't remember these gamer tags. It's mainly because Alfonso comes here so often, Fernandezi doesn't. So Fernandezi's actually higher ranked than Alfonso. How higher ranked? Four stocked more higher ranked. Okay, I want everyone at home to start applauding people, these people, because they did not pick Final Destination as their counter pick. Like, please, man. It might be your last game for winners, but that's not your Final Destination. Loser's Bracket's your Final Destination, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> zero to death! Olimar shout out. Majority's purple pigment, man. That's when you become a low tier to the lowest mid tier. When you have a purple Pikmin majority. So, is does Olimar play different than the rest of the cast or different than others? Well, he has a budding system. If you notice on the top of Olimar's helmet, there's a color on it. And that shows the Pikmin that he's gonna use next. Now, uh, yellow is faster aerials. Correct me if I'm wrong, stream, but I'm pretty sure. Yellow is faster aerials. Blue is better throws. Red is the lead of the Power Rangers. I actually don't know what red is. I'm sorry, Shin. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. And purple is the strongest smash and strongest aerials, like, but it's slower. It doesn't go as far. I think red, red goes far. I'm not really sure. You get the fire element. I don't really know. And the buddy system just makes it stronger. Now they nerfed that in the most recent patch on November, but it's still decently prominent. It makes him a hard hitter if you actually let. The Pikmin bug, but it, you should still be able to like play with them, don't even care if they die because they normalize it. So, budding is not OP, not OP, it wasn't even OP back then. Budding is not substantially stronger than not budding. We're all having a fun time, they're just laughing up there. The guy's gonna come back and lose this, whoever is gonna lose this. But Olimar is winning, dude. This is an upset for the fact that Olimar's in winner's brackets. Can we have a shout out here? 
I know for the people following Clash tournaments, there's like... Oh, you want to say something? Oh, okay. People follow Clash tournaments, there's that one guy who went to Grand Finals, it's Olimar, but... Let's be real here, there was no actual Project M players at the tournament. There's no like, new to take no... No like, legit melee players transferring through, I'm sorry. Not to, not to fire shots at people who hold the shots fired, but you know... I have a loaded gun and I'm not afraid to Falco spam you. Dude, like you know the the screen shakes when you like play Bowser, like you get a Ganon there. Like I like it when when people everyone jump in the room and something hype happens and like the screen shakes in IRL. That's how that's how badass it is. Dude, 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 dude. I'd be playing like ground type Pokemon and I'd be earthquaking up in here. <laughs> so how do? Ooh, doesn't even matter. So the way you guard at Tether Flare is if you hold Edge. They have to do a forced, really slow, really high, uh, but close to the edge, laggy hop onto the stage. Ganon can't do much off ledge, but you can just like, you know, full hop off back here because the you could act out of jump off ledge in this game. But like tether characters, I know a lot of people like tether characters. Tethers are not slow. I know tethers were like really fast, but I think tethers are okay now. Predict the tether. Olimar has no other choice but the tether. He has a B slight momentum, but it's not really much anything. Oh, so what I mean by that is, if, ooh, JV2 with an Olimar all up in this game, dude. I would compare you to a legit Olimar player, but there is none in like real life. So, uh, when you Olimar has this thing, if he plucks a Pikmin in mid air, he does this pelvic thrust. He moves like a good inch to the left. No, he doesn't go up, but he goes like an inch to the left. It's better than nothing. It's like a small kind of air dodge, but it doesn't take away. You can spam it in air, but it has a dampening issue. It saturates after a while. But if you hit them like at a low angle, grab the ledge, he force hit up. Or like you can just drop down. And majority of the time when you hit him off, he has le he has less than three Pikmin. He's not gonna go far. So, sad things about Olimar and recovery uh, videos. What's this, Jane? Oh, Strider! Everyone! Sean's on stream, guys! Welcome to Project M Stream! You guys are flattering me, my commentator. I hope you guys are willing to look at the YouTube videos to look back at my commentator. Yeah? Look back at my match. I got some King Kongs in there. I don't know. Wins Fox. Fox is after, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm just joking. We got some Diddy plays here. This isn't Smash 4. He's in top tier, but he's pretty damn good. I'm not a fan of seeing Diddy Kongs. Can we get DXD versus Zen? I'm not a fan of seeing Diddy Kongs, only because... No, I'm, I'm actually very hyped for Diddy Kongs, but... When you see Seagull Joe win tournament after tournament after tournament, man... But he has, he plays like a freaking... He's a pseudo heavy, pseudo fast faller, so like Lucas. So he's like a spacey, but kind of a mix between easy combo heavy and super easy glass cannon spacey. But his combos are sick, like... If you do escape a Diddy combo, you're gonna be in an awkward situation where he will chase you and he will bear you or bear you or dare you, like anything leads to anything. His Nair pops you up. His, like right there, his dare, his down smash gets you at a gimping angle. And that, that peanut snipes super easy. Nice, nice, nice. Huh? Uh, I don't think so, but he does have peanuts inside the Donkey Kong games. Uh, he also has, he has some banana shenanigans. If you're a brawl player, you know how to. Ooh, what is it? Peru. Oh yeah, Hawaii them connections. So I think Sean's a journalist right now in Peru, but then he was a very, I'm not sure, sorry if I said journalist or something else wrong, but he was a very active member in Smash. He represented the boy, Aroy. Wait, no, I said that wrong. Never mind that. <laughs> shh, shh, guys. So he played Roy in Melee, and that's his main, like legitimately. But he plays, but he plays Captain Falcon in PM. I'm not sure if he plays Roy also in PM, but his Captain Falcon was sweet. I was saying to the stream before, I love Falcon Diddles. I play like with Gavin all the time in Falcon Diddles. 
it's so funny like those freaking taunt knees and really sick combos and chasing but Sean could always beat me in his Falcon Dittos he was a really good Falcon Ooh. so Diddy Kong's up B wasn't as prevalent you couldn't charge it you can charge it for like one second and you go like 360 around battlefield twice or something in 3.02 I'm glad they nerfed it but it, it's still pretty good oh yeah so um the main thing was when you try to guard Diddy his up B jumps off his back and then that thing covers the ledge for you like it is an anti-edge guarding tool now it doesn't hit anymore but it does meter smash like the, the actual active going up actually gets the hitbox on that meter smash is down And then, but then Diddy Kong, like, you have a really small window if you side B and you just spam your up air, you will get a good, like, 20% right off the bat. And side B shenanigan, dash attack off shenanigans. Back then, you dash attack off stage, free spike, not anymore. It's, it's, it's about, like, getting those good, good combos in. And then you get that really good sounding fair and knock them off stage. Dance right here. Especially since two top ranked players going in here, even though one of them is using an Olimar. I don't, I still don't, I'm gonna hold you to this, Alfonso. Oh, 40 to 58. Up throw, fair, the two hit combos. The thing I like about it is, the, oh, this Olimar is legit. The thing I like about it is that, like, in Brawl, you could send Pikmin after Pikmin with low. The, the hit box and grab box coverage is really good. And you can send one Pikmin right after another. So it's like the speed of. Marth's new tr uh, jab. Or, ooh, can you recover? Just like the tutorials, you must recover. A slow get up. Back on the edge. Ooh, slow get, slow get up on stage. You missed it. He's in the edge guarding position. That up B still gives a hurt him. Oh, the throw! Super tense. Ooh. Shout out to the hitbox on up B. That thing is that thing is a combo finish. Close, oh, some pop off, some ugh, but that was some great game, everyone smiling off, that was amazing.